as I've said, this is my last night here, but as an Indian and as an American, I can't leave without shitting on the United Kingdom. <laughs> so let's talk about the latest drama in the royal family, because apparently, Prince Andrew is pissed that his brother, King Charles, is trying to move him out of his 30-room mansion and into the tiny 10-room Frogmore cottage. First of all, <laughs> I get why he's upset that, because that's barely enough space for a teenage sex dungeon. But second, <laughs> why are you complaining? Your house has a name. <laughs> Any house with a name is next level. My house just has a number like a peasant. <laughs> Moving on. According to a new survey, the average tooth fairy payout has now hit a record $6.23 <laughs> per tooth, which is insane. Poor Nick Cannon's gonna be broke by the end of this <laughs> month. <laughs> okay? As a parent, I wanna know how other dads feel about this, which is why. I turn to fellow dad, Roy Wood Jr. Roy Wood Jr., everyone. Hello, fellow dad. How are you? I am dad, you are dad. Roy. Look, okay. this is important. Is I you, know. Man. Thank you. I know your son is getting to tooth losing age. Yeah, they're getting jiggly. Yeah. <laughs> is he getting that sweet six bucks from the tooth fairy? Hell no. <laughs> I did the responsible thing with my boy and I told him that the tooth fairy is dead. Wait. <laughs> What? You told him the tooth fairy is dead? She's dead? She dead. She gone. <laughs> she, she, she tripped over my son's toys. He'd be laying, laying all over the house. She stepped on the toy, broke her neck, and choked, on the, choked to death on her own tongue. Why would you say that to your own kid? Well, he's got to put his damn toys up now. I bet you he will now. Look, is, is it like, like, I'm tired of him not cleaning up, and I'm tired of buying into this system, man. Listen to us. We're paying our kids just for losing teeth. And what are they learning from that? What are they learning? All your kids learn is that they can sell their body parts for money. <laughs> no wonder, no wonder I spent my whole 20 selling plasma, selling blood, selling sperm, selling bone marrow, dropped off a kidney. All the tooth fairy did was teach me how to treat my body like a garage sale. Wait, wait. <laughs> but losing a tooth is a big moment. He should get something. He is getting something. He's getting a new tooth. <laughs> That's the prize. You get to keep chewing. And let's just be real, Hassan, where does it end? Lose a tooth, $6. Oh, you got your first zit. Here's $10. Oh, <laughs> your body keep changing. I'm going to have to keep tipping this little mother for growing hair on his back. No. He gets one present a year. His birthday, that's it. Okay, what about one Christmas, present. right? Wait, what? what? Christmas. Man, Santa dead, too. <laughs> I told my son that Santa Claus died from too much screen time on the iPad. Okay, wait. <laughs> Listen, man, for your son's sake, man, just... Here, just give this to Henry. Tell us from Uncle Hassan, okay? Wow. He lost two teeth. <laughs> All right. Roy Wood Jr., everybody.